What's up, ninjas? It's Dee here, and today I'm gonna show you how to do color variants of your 2D VTuber model. So your original model might look like this, and with the color variant, you can become this. So it's gonna be very easy. All you need is Photoshop or Paint, but I'm gonna show you how I do it in Photoshop. So please like this video, subscribe, share with your friends, and let's begin. Now the first thing you want to do, of course, is open Photoshop, but also you need to go find the texture file for your VTuber model. To do that, you're going to go into VTube Studios and go ahead and open the folder. To find this folder, you're going to hit the cogwheel and just hit open data folder. Now it's going to look something like this. If you go into live 2D model, this is basically all the models that you have in your VTube Studio. Now I renamed them based on the color they are. So if I want to make a new color, say I want to make a green one, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that whole folder. And now, now I'm going to just use this folder to edit. So you open it, you go under the actual name of the folder, you're going to see a PNG file. This is basically your texture file, which is what your VTuber is made out of. You're going to pull this texture tool into Photoshop. It's going to look like this. It's just like all your little layers of your PSD file on this one PNG image. Go ahead and copy this. You can do control J. It's like a duplicate tool for the layer. Unhide this one. Don't touch it. This is just, in, this is a backup in case something goes wrong. Now using your copy tool, you're going to start selecting the things you want to change. So I want to change the hair and the eyes. So I'm going to use this quick select tool on the top left side. And I'm gonna just start selecting the hairs that I want to change the color of. Make sure you get all the tiny strands of your hair if it's like super thin, cause you don't want like parts of your hair to not change color. <laughs> that makes sense. Make sure you don't grab things you don't want like parts of your costume and whatever, but you just very carefully take your time doing this go through and select every part of the hair you want. I find that this is easier than using color select because obviously I have more blue and other parts of my model. So I don't want to like grab that by accident. Now you're going to do control C and control V, which is basically now you're going to hit select. Now you're going to hit control X, which is cut. And then you're going to hit control V, but already I see that I missed this little hair tool. So I'm going to do control Z pull it back, grab this. Perfect. Now I'm going to cut, double check that everything I cut is gone. Now make a new layer and hit control V. Now your hair is back and I'm going to hide this layer. So only the hair shows up and I'm going to go to windows and properties. This will basically pull up the bar here and you can pull down this thing, this little circle, and go find hue and saturation. And this is what I use to change color. So you can just mess with the color bar at the top. Okay, make sure, sorry. What happened there was that the hair wasn't under the actual saturation tool. So if you pull the saturation tool at the very top of the layer, it'll start affecting everything below it. So now when I touch this and I change this, you can see that the hair is being changed. Now I'm going to pick the green I want. I can mess with saturation if I want it to be darker green or brighter green and lightness if I want to be darker or lighter. Uh, shade. So we're going to do this green and I think I like it enough. Now I'm going to select both these layers using shift. So shift and then select both using your right button. Now you hit convert to smart object. I know it's a lot of tools, but once you start messing around the buttons yourself, it does make a lot more sense. And I'll rename this layer hair so I know what I'm messing with. Now that I have that, I'm going to grab the eyes. So hiding the hair tool, sorry, hiding the hair layer, I'm going to go back to this one and just select the eyes that I want. So I have the eyes for my expression and then my actual eyes. I'm going to do copy and paste again. Okay. 
So now you can see that this base layer does not have the eyes. The eyes are in a separate layer. Now grabbing just the eyes, we're going to do the same exact thing of the hue and saturation. We're going to change it to the color that you want. And then we're going to join the f uh, two layers to a smart object, aka one layer or making it one layer. So now you have the hair, the eyes, and the base layer. So things are green that I want it to be. And looking at just this, you know, you can go wild with the color changes that you want. You can change the whole outfit if you wanted to, but it would just require a lot of selecting what you want, making a new layer, changing the color, go wild, do what you want. But for just this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you this just so you guys have an idea. So now you wanna make sure you hit save as um, you can override the save file you have here because I made a whole new file, right? You want to make sure that you do not override your file that you are using. Like the file I'm using right now is a totally different folder. That being said, it's always good to back up your files. So like in this folder where I'm holding all my VTuber models, I have all these files saved onto my desktop. So if something were to happen to the program and this all gets deleted, I still have the files on my PC. The PC, the files are also saved on the cloud. So if my computer ever, you know, dies and I lose all everything in my drives, which should never happen, it is also online. It's always good to have backup files. So once again, this is a separate folder, which is why I overrode the texture file in it, right? Now we're gonna go to VTube Studio. All right, now that we are in VTube Studios, you're gonna go select the top left, which is avatar selection, and you're gonna go find that new file you added. As you can see, I can tell that because I duplicated my original file, there's now two blue haired girls when there shouldn't be. So I'm assuming this one's the green one. And it is. So ta-da, it worked perfectly. You know, you just change what you want to change color-wise and then you put it in the V2 folder and your file will appear. Now, if I want to change my icon, just for like my sanity, as you can see below, I changed all these icons so I knew what I was selecting. Go ahead and just do a quick uh, image so to, to do an image of your avatar, you're just gonna hit this button right here, right? So, and hit okay. It basically takes an image of your avatar. I don't know why it looks so damn sad. I'm gonna do that again. Cool, so save it. Find where you saved it. And it's in this folder for me. So now I'm gonna go back into that green folder where this model currently resides and you see there's this PNG image. This PNG image is what's making that icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that PNG image into a new window in Photoshop. This is what it's sized. I'm gonna pull up the image I just took as a screenshot like that. Just make sure the sizing is right so that you know my things my icon sizes are as close to matching as possible. You don't have to do this. I just do it because I like to. Go ahead and save over it in the folder as a PNG image. I replaced it, I hit okay. Now when I go back to VTube Studio, you can see that the image is now green. Ta-da, it's magic. It's really cool how you can change your color variants and it, you know, you can do all this and make fun little TikToks. It's what I've been doing because I am obsessed. So that is all for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Have fun with this. Just make sure, again, you copy the folder when you do your color variants. Do not override your original folder. I cannot stress that enough because you'll be very sad and upset if you do. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. If you guys want another tutorial on something else, feel free to comment below, let me know, and I will do my best to make a tutorial for it. All right, bye guys.